Hey everyone, Mo here, and before the video begins, I just want to let you guys know that my schedule has opened up for me to do coaching again. So if you're interested in private one-on-one -on -one coaching for me to help you, whether you're a newer player and you want to excel at the game very quickly and learn the fundamentals without developing any bad habits early, or if you're an experienced player who's already maybe platinum or diamond and you're top 1%, but you need some help filling in the gap to get you to that 0.01% to make you just some of the best of the best, then hit me up on Discord and I can get you in some private one-on-one -on -one coaching lessons to help you polish up any skills you want to refine and help you learn all of the secrets to becoming a top player. That's it. I hope you enjoy the video. Hey everybody, Mo here, and today I'm bringing you guys some gameplay of Sever Auction. So Sever Auction is like, I'm pretty sure this is the most slept on deck in the meta right now. And if you watch my meta reports or watch my meta Mondays, you'll see that I said that on Monday and I told you I was going to play some games on it that day on stream to try and climb some, climb some LP. And I think we peaked at like 160 LP. We're at 37 now because we played a bunch of other decks and kind of trolled a little bit around with some deck redemptions. But we peaked at like 130, 150 LP with this deck overall. And the deck went really, really well. And the deck was just as good as I thought it was. So um, I just wanted to show you guys, like kind of back up whatever I call things like, oh, this deck is sleeper OP or oh, this deck's really good. You guys should play it. I like to go through and play it myself and show you guys like, no, I wasn't just kidding. Like this deck is really good and it is really strong. And I'm going to play it for you guys and kind of show you that it's really, really strong. And that's what I'm doing here for you guys today. Um, so before we get into the games, I wanted to remind you guys that 70% of the people that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed to me. So if you guys could do me a huge, huge favor and click that subscribe button and leave a comment down below if you like these videos where I follow up my Meta Monday with the gameplay of the super secret OP deck that I claim. Um, and stuff like that. If you want more deck guides, stuff of that nature. I saw somebody ask for Silver Auction gameplay yesterday. So I figured, hey, why not? And I bring it to you. So again, to prove to you guys that I read comments, I saw the comment yesterday on the Meta Monday asking for Silver Auction gameplay. And I thought, you know, that's a pretty good idea. I claim the deck is good. Why not show it off? And that's what I'm doing today. So I read your comments just so you guys know. Help me out some with the YouTube algorithm and leave more comments, more likes, stuff like that. I really appreciate you guys. That's going to be it for the intro. I hope you guys enjoyed the games. All right, we're going to play some ladder, and then uh, at 2, I have live coaching. But also, how are you today, Bad Karma 78? Ah. Ah. Gross. Damn. Not attacking on odds, and I have a 3-3 three, three on turn 2. That is crazy. I always need them to not hit Rek'Sai. Bro. What? They are too good. You know, life coaching looks like a bit on the fence for a session at some point. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You should watch. I have a VOD from last week. I have a VOD from last week where I got where this guy got coaching. Yeah, get fucked. You can't high roll me twice. Tell you what. But. Yeah, it's, uh, live coaching is pretty cool. If I do Shay show myself. Damn man. Oh my god, double Rex I hit. Save me! Alright, Vagabond. Alright, Sagabond. Do you get it, chat? Sagabon? <laughs> well, let's do one of these bad boys. We'll do one of these. Give him a spell shield, hopefully. No. We'll give him Challenger. We're gonna use uh, the Cataclysm to kill the Rek'Sai next turn. I guess they have two Rek'Sai, which is pretty annoying. I wish they didn't have two Rek'Sai. 
Well, you deal with one Rek'Sai, but not really two Rek'Sai. Quite annoying. Right. Come on, tell me where I'm going to try their specific aspect of the game I know I need to work on. Yeah, and I think that's like a big thing is a lot of times it can feel like you don't really know what to work on, just that something does need working on, you know? Okay, we can do... This is going to pump him twice. So put him to four. Let's put him to five. And we could grappling hook him. Uh, so close. Where's old Shapestone at? Sad. Fucking sad, bro. I miss the old Shapestone. Sad, bro. Straight from the go, Shapestone. Cage. You always need to work, but when you can say, give me an hour on this topic, whatever you see along the way, it feels smarter. Yeah, I understand. I think a lot of it too could just be like, if you don't know what to work on, then I can help you, or a lot of times a coach will help you, you know, figure out what it is you do need to work on. Challengor, no, quick attack, ew, fearsome, ew. You know, so it can be kind of, the, it goes like both ways. I think we can kind of just get ready to kill them. Like, I'm just gonna prepare death. Right, Arda. Do you have the pike spell? Nope. A hand must have actually just been like fucking Rek'Sai Rek'Sai or something. I'm gonna have fun figuring out. Yeah, and I mean, that's good, right? That's basically all coaching is, is just like, Coaching is a way to figure out what you could work on just faster. Because as I believe that most people will figure it out on their own. Like, um, most people will figure out what it is they need to work on and like uh, how to work on it and stuff like that. All coaching really does is kind of boost that to make it go faster. To say like, oh, I like need to work on this thing and it took you like you know a week to figure out whereas you could have somebody who's already knows it and is like a competitive player and top player and just point it out for you instantly so instead of you spending you know a week or two weeks figuring out what it is you're doing wrong and then you know another week to two weeks to how to fix it you could spend an hour with somebody and then they can tell you what to fix it and how to fix it doing much live coaching um because it's hard for me to coach pay attention to chat and stuff like that or pay attention to chat, but then also, like, coach. Um, and give them, like, the full experience that they're paying, like, like actual money and stuff for. Um. But, yeah, so I can pay attention now. Thanks for watching, and thanks for kind Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks for... Thanks for being willing to get coached. Also, a lot of people don't like coaching live because... A lot of people get kind of like self-conscious when they get coaching because they know they're not very good. And if you're already self-conscious, the only thing that could make that worse is having like 50 people also watching you and telling you you're bad. So thank you Twitch chat for not being fucking dicks. Except for that one random guy who said I'm an asshole. Which I don't understand why. Because that was also the first time they've ever been in my stream. I thought that was funny. It literally said, welcome kunal to the channel and the message was you're an asshole <laughs> i just fucking died i was like that's so funny man
I just waste all of their mana? Yeah, I'm down, dude. What are you doing? Why you said that, Ramley? I don't know, but I thought that was so funny. Not someone you knew? No, I've never heard of that person. They've like literally never been in my chat before. Because Twitch gives me these um, messages if somebody is new. And it'll say like, welcome this person to your stream. Or if they've been in my stream but never typed, it'll say like first time chatter. That person has literally never been in my stream. And that was like their first time being in my stream. And they just say, you're an asshole. I, just thought, I thought that was hilarious. He kind of spit it. True, true. Press one if agreed, man. Oh, man. Are they still here? I don't fucking know, dude. I don't care enough to find out. I just thought that scenario was funny. But yeah, how's everyone doing? Greater my spell shield? Sure. Uh, I'm just gonna hit you. For a bunch. We're doing great. That was fun. Awesome, man. Fucking sad. Savage X2 X. Thanks for the follow. Uh, Savage X2 X is also getting coaching this week, I believe. And that's the same person. I'll text you this morning. I really hope I can get the money for you. Yeah, sounds good, man. If not, then we can also do, like, Wednesday or Thursday. Both work, so. Uh, I think I'm okay. I think I'm down to just, like, slam units here. I'm just gonna go wide. I'm just gonna go wide and then open with the four Demacia and slam their ass. Yeah, sounds good, dude. Uh, you can thermo my whatever, and then I just play Treasure Keeper open for Demacia and kill you. Uh, what is the win con for this deck? Auction Sivir, I mean. Uh, usually you just outvalue your opponent, and then you go wide and kill them with combat damage. Like, there's there's not, like, a, a very clear win con. Like, oh, this is how you win. But it's kind of just, like... You go wide, like right now I'm winning because I just have so many units and so much, like so many threats that they can't really do anything about it. All right. So you just like apply a lot of pressure with units. You play spells to keep your units alive. So you play like, you know, sharp sight, um, and shield of Duran, stuff like that to keep your units alive, and then, uh... Whee! What do I need? I need 13 to level? Sad. I like, see, I would've won this game if I had a Shapestone in my hand. Because Shapestone would've given me the 2 damage I needed. Wee. Some more. So his hands probably like Scorch Earth, Flock, Flock. I really hope that hits my Sivir. And I really hope they flock my Sivir so I can play a new one with Spell Shield. Lock me, Daddy! You got that card back for winning seasonals, right, Moe Blowy? Now I got this card back for fucking your mom. Who works at Riot. Huh, that's a good 7 drop. Is it Tana Point Redemption for free coaching? Yeah. I don't remember what it's at, but yeah. GG, man. Close game. Their hands are really awkward. Like I said, their hands probably like 
Flock Flock or Flock Scorch or something like that. If I had to guess. Can you help me get that card back too? Yeah, man. I'll send you Morgan's mom's phone number. Ooh, his hand ass. Actually, Rite of Negation is pretty good against uh, Jace. This game looks like an FF. Do I just keep tempoing out cards is the question? I think I do. Because I think my cards are kind of big. Because the two plays they have on six mana is either make more three threes or um, aftershock you. Or not aftershock, but the like deal big damage. And I'm okay with either of those. We can bluff Shapestone here. And just say like, do you have the sharp sight? All right, good blocks. Imagine if your card declines during coaching and they make you import a Mogwai deck. Dude, if you think I'm coaching anybody before they send me my fucking cash, you are high as fuck. You need to hand me my cash or I'm not coaching you. I'm just kidding. That's not usually how it works. Usually I don't care. I'm just like, give it to me to before, during, or after. And it's all fucking good. So this guy has like Angel. How do I beat Angel? I actually don't know how I'm supposed to beat the angel card without second auction. I'm assuming sharp sight. Oh, back to back. Okay. Uh, okay. Fine by me. I think I'm done. I just play a Vagabond Bruiser. But no, I don't want to make you import a Mogwine deck. I would just... I would literally... If that happened... If I did coaching and it was time... And the guy was like, oh, I'll pay you like after the coaching and stuff. And the guy's like card is declining or he's saying like, oh, it's not working. I would literally just say like... Don't worry about it. Like, just donate to me or pay me, like, whenever your card's working, whenever you, like, get paid. That's literally all that would happen. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, we're going to get us a... Oh, Mystic me. Okay, H. Pretty weird. I've, I'm getting third mode. Ree! Fuck, I'm getting third mode, man. I'm not. He has double mystic. Okay? What the fuck? Overall, I'm good. If I sub with Prime, does that count? <laughs> sure, man.
I have a discount if you're subbed to me on Twitch, I think. Oh, Cataclysm is great. It actually gives me a way to guilt to deal with the Lux. Nice guy, Mo. Yeah. Well, it's also just, like, not really worth, like, a fuss. Like, I'm not gonna be angry and, like, yell at you and all this type of stuff over 20 bucks. Okay. All right, we're going to go for this Cataclysm and just hope it works. The barrier is just kind of insurance to where if they have the whatever, yeah, like that, right? I just say, okay, and my Sivir isn't dead. All right, Bruiser would be a really good draw. We have a right of negation to negate whatever spell they could have. Oh fuck, we're getting kind of low. I wouldn't be surprised if they final spark my Sivir to try to get it set up for a detain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Absolver is a great card. Okay. Okay. Mm, it's fine. So we just do this. Force them into concerted strike. They don't have it. Um. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's pretty annoying. I would like my own concerted strike. Ages is good. Do. Do, 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 do. Sure. So we do this. We rally. We do this. We do this. Because they probably have uh, the like double pump spell or whatever, the back to back. Yeah, there's back to back. Sure, no problemo. Um. Well, what do I do with this? Because originally I wanted to do spell shield. I'm also down to just like give vulnerable. Mm. I mean, give vulnerable, summon a sivir. We also just give our champions plus two, plus two, and spell shield. Sounds pretty good to me. I'm just gonna threaten to hit you. You block with your 5-5. Five, five. I say, okay. You get rid of my spell shield. I say, okay. I play you. I play you. Now we should just open attack for lethal. Cool.
cool, cool. That good. 